Hi, I'm Abigail and I work at Heritage Roasting Company and I am going to show you how to make a pour over today. So basically why we like pour overs is um, it spends the water with the ground, spends about four minutes and it when it passes through it catches a lot of the lighter tones of the coffee so like our Ethiopia is really good because it catches a lot of the fruitiness. Basically what we do is we dose 21 grams of coffee beans and then we grind them. Uh, we use about 300 milliliters, 300 grams of water and we, which fits basically in a 12 ounce uh, standard cup of coffee. Take a V60 pour over, you always want the one with the pointed bottom, especially if you have something like this. Put in, we preheat the coffee cup, you never want to serve coffee in a cold cup. We also pre-wet uh, pre the filter, it gets the papery taste out of the filter. Dump the water out so that your coffee is not all watered down. So next we're going to do a process called blooming. It saturates all of the coffee grounds with the water. And you want to basically just cover the coffee grounds just barely with water and make sure everything's wet and then let it sit for about 10 seconds. So next, when we start pouring the water in, we want to start in the middle and do a spiral like motion starting from the middle and going out and then we're going to start spiraling back in. We never want to let the water go too low in the coffee filter or like going too far down because the crema that you actually see on top uh, is holding a lot of the bitterness of the coffee and so by keeping this up high we're just getting all of the main flavors.